right, hey, hey everybody, RV Enthusiast here. Nice seeing you again. Thanks for joining me on Maintenance Monday. Today's maintenance is very little maintenance, but I do have one problem I did notice. This is a second shoot on this video. I did it all, I went and took it to edit it, and uh, the file was corrupted. So let's get started. It's a two-piece video. One is I have a, um, a Juliet plug that uh, must have got snagged on something, uh, pulled the plug apart, broke the plug, and so um, instead of replacing the plug, I'm seeing if I can get it to fit without having to replace the plug. If I have to replace the plug, I will. It's not, it's not major surgery or anything like that, but uh, I can certainly replace the plug. And it's another thing, um, I'm probably going to get a couple of them just to make sure um, if it ever happens again, because I have enough bikes that I have a Juliet plug just uh, as a spare. Where we're going to start is right here. If you look at this plug here, you see I broke this right here. I don't know how. I think uh, it must have got snagged on something, or as I put them away, it got snagged on something. That's a very good possibility in my garage. Uh, but we broke the corner of this off. Fortunately, it left the little notch right here. And with that notch, I know I can align it to here. But in order to fix that, is I have to make sure these pins are are not bent over, not not uh, uh, rolled or not pinched or anything like that. So what it is, it's just about a little bit in between uh, the wall of the the plug and the pins. So I can physically see these pins are straight up and down now. Um, what I did is I had to reach in here and I pushed them in, I pushed them all in, and then I moved them out just a little bit. But it's about the width of uh, a razor blade, just a little bit more. Then once you get that, if you've done what I did, you got to reach up in here and dig your piece out. And uh, it'll come out, uh, even though there's a little locking lip in there, you just dig past that and it'll pop out if that's what you've done. So then, what you have to do is you have to align this leftover pin, which mine is clearly there. If it's not there, I think it's a bigger problem. Uh, a big enough problem that you probably need to replace the Juliet plug. And then line your two spots up still and push it in. Now you didn't hear a real good snap uh, I did the first time I did it that it didn't record, but that's now in. Now, I know what caused it was something about, you know, probably this as I turned the wheel or something, or like I said, something over there. So what I want to do is I want to get a zip tie, and I want to tie this right here, uh, just so that doesn't happen again. The first time I had a black one, this time it's got to be purple. I have no more black. So there we go there. And just clip it off. The other thing I got to do is test it and make sure it works. So we'll turn the bike on and then we'll hit the light and the light now works. Yeah, so that's a good thing. Then we'll turn this off. Turn the key off. Now we're going to test the other thing that I really came out here to do, and then I saw that and fixed that problem. So let's look at the next thing. So the start of the show is the Ranger. And there's been some question as to these two batteries. Are they identical? Are they alike? Is there just an uh, amperage difference? There's an amperage difference. But, a lot of people, some people have said, yeah, it works. Some people said, no, it doesn't work. Does this battery fit in this bike, and does this battery fit in that bike? There's a size difference, and let's take a look at that. So as we pull this battery out, we'll set it right here. And we'll pull this battery out, and we'll set it right here. Now you can physically see there's a height difference, and that's the difference in amperage of the batteries. 
The question is, will it slide down the rail and work on the bikes? So, if you take this one, which is the Mars battery, and you slip it onto the rail on the Ranger battery, as it goes down, it stops about the height of the battery difference short. So, the, 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 the Mars battery does not work on the Ranger because it's too short. Now, there is a workaround, and I'll show that to you. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I'm not going to re recommend it, but I'll show you. You can work around that. Now, does the Ranger battery work in the Mars? And the reason I'm showing you this is if you do have both bikes and say one's your wife's and one's yours and, and you don't, you know, one doesn't want to go riding and you want to go for a real long ride, can you do it? On the Mars, yes. Because you take this battery and set it down on the rail and it goes all the way in. Now, will it run the bike? We'll turn the bike on. The display comes on. The light comes on. And the battery works the, the motor. Now, when the seat comes down on this bike, the Mars seat has to be up pretty high. If you bring the seat down too far, you will hit the top of the battery. So if you're very short legged, this probably isn't a good idea for you. If you're very long legged, uh, this may work okay for you. For me, this would work. Uh, and I'm not real long legged, but it will work for me. So if ever I need dual batteries and I want to ride the 20 inch bikes a long distance, this is the one that works for me right now. So, the only bad thing is, this battery is so long, the locking mechanism doesn't work, and someone should just come by and take it out. Now, like I said, it doesn't work on this bike, but the fix, if you want it to work on both bikes, is this little notch right here. It's a plastic notch. All you have to do is remove this notch. So you can cut right here and cut right here and, and, and cut the back out, cut this little notch out that's hanging it up, and the battery will sit down into the Ranger. I'm not saying you should do this. I'm not recommending you do this. But that way the, the, the battery will fit in the Ranger, and you can ride the Ranger just as you would the Mars with two batteries. This one, you could sit the seat further down because the battery is shorter. Um, and again, uh, the locking mechanism on this will not work because you're past the locking mechanism on the rail. But it is a way to get more mileage out of two different bikes rather than buying another uh, expensive battery. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for joining me. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch on the next episode. One more thing, the next episode on this bike is probably going to be the accessories on the front because we're heading up till Christmas, and uh, this will be a quick one for me. Then the one after that, I believe, uh, hopefully, or the one after that, somewhere around uh, the New Year's, we're going to, uh, thanks to one of my subscribers, <clears throat> when I did the last video and I we, were t we removed the rear wheel, and we showed you how to uh, change the tire that way. He said, hey, can you do one where you don't change the rear wheel out, where you just do it uh, from a mounted, uh, where, where the wheel is mounted? Yes, we'll do that. Probably the next episode or two on Maintenance Mondays, that'll happen. All right, guys, again, thanks for joining me. We'll see you on the next episode.